Three, two, one. <laughs> hey guys, um, thanks for checking out the channel. A couple weeks ago, a friend of mine tagged me on, on Facebook. He's found these. And he said, man, this would be so funny to shoot this at a drone. And I said, uh, I have a drone, and I would definitely shoot it. So today, we're going to shoot my drone out of the sky. <laughs> I don't know. With a lot of marketing hype going into drone paranoia, I kind of want to know what's going on out there, what kind of products they're marketing, and how safe they are. Three things I want to test with this. Um, one, do these work. Second thing I want to do is see if you can fly the drone again, if it destroys it or if it actually brings it down safely. I really doubt it. And third, depending on how one and two go, if you actually see somebody aiming this at your drone, are you able to get away and get out of range of it really quick? So, um, these? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, I mean, if you miss, the shell will safely parachute back down to earth. I, it gives me hope that maybe if it doesn't hit anything crucial on the drone that it'll, uh, it'll fly again. I really don't know. Alright, I'm going to try to film with this camera and the Mavic. Um, and I'm going to put this one up. I'm going to have this camera recording as well. Playing the part of the paranoid redneck, my friend Morgan Wade. <laughs> Does it have like a parachute with it? I, it's supposed to have, this is what it says. I mean, you gonna load all of them? A terrible flying device. That's not what you said when it was new. Whenever you're ready. Five. Before we do one like really low, if it does have a uh, parachute on it, I'd kind of like for it to Wadding. give it a shot, at, or <laughs> I'd like to give it a chance to at least parachute down to earth. Ready? Three, two, one. Where did it go? Coming out of the barrel, right? All right, you want to just walk right underneath it and shoot straight up? I'm honestly afraid if I shoot too close to it, these aren't going to open up enough. It's just going to blast the whole straight through. I know. It. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. All right. Take three. Whenever you're ready. Three, two, one. Well, that got it. It looks like it cut it cut that wing off. Holy cow. Hey, good job, GoPro. That looks like a wire cut that for sure. How about that? The I'd props are pretty much done. But it looks like one of the wires caught it. This is fixable. This, this one is definitely tatered here. You'd need a new body yeah. or just tape the crap out of it. The only thing that happened, like right here, this motor wire got severed, so that just needs to be resoldered. The gimbal. Why don't you just pull those out? Snapped all the wires off the off they, the. They, uh, they didn't even break or rip. They just pulled them off the the connector. Yeah. This is nothing like the description. 
I mean, a shotgun shell would have done the same thing, dude. Yeah. Like bird I mean, shot. I, I was, and then we got half as close. We got we cut that distance in half, and it still didn't hit it. Yeah. I had to get right under it, and it was pretty low to do this. So obviously we're not gonna be flying again, but um, the third thing I said I wanted to do. Uh, can you get away from it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure yeah, we you covered can, that one. It took the drone out of the sky. Yeah. But the circumstances that it took to do it were something that would be easy to see and get away from. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, let's, go, let's look around for parts. <clears throat> All right. Yep. On an unrelated note, I have a drone for sale. Um, it's kind of a fixer-upper. Cool. Is this one? No. Yo, wait, no, that might be. I think it is. It smells like gunpowder. According to the internet, this is what the shot was actually supposed to look like. Oh, wow. Okay. This was part of it. Wow. That's one of them? You That's certainly do them. not want to get hit with that. No. Like okay. your body. That's, that's a substantial amount of lead. I expected it bright. to get wrapped up in that in that wire. I did too. I was expecting more of like a real fine wire. I wasn't expecting string. I mean, this is, looks like it was hand tied. Okay. So it's got, Honestly. it's got four of these attached to a hand tied string. Uh, plus side, uh, these don't work very well. Um, these are $20 for three shells, so hopefully a lot of people won't buy them, and uh, you should be able to get away from it pretty quick. We should end it by just shooting a bunch of stuff. Fitting. So today we're gonna test this. Skynet drone defense. Um, uh, way too far. Yeah, hold it Put it like. This lens is so right wide. There, right there. Today, um. What? First thing. See, I feel like a bliv bl blithering idiot. Like. So that needs to be re welded. That's no big deal. Or re soldered. Let me see this head again. And how safe they are. I know, sorry. Does it uh, feel like a moron? By the way, this is not a paid endorsement. Is that a paid endorsement, or is it a nothing on this channel? Just put, is it, just put it even with this. Let's see how well it works. And I feel like I've got nowhere to go. <laughs> Whatever. We're gonna cut around this, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a mess.